Oh, you can eat today. And what you can eat, get a bag. We're we'll going to call it doggy bag. <laughs> and not eat. Take it with you when you go. Amen. So t- today we're teaching on the Bible. The Bible reveals the past, the present, and the future. The past reveals what God has done for us in Christ Jesus when he said it is finished. Our minister Thompson boy said to me, I'm going somewhere. <laughs> what God has done for us in Christ Jesus is lived in the present. See, we live the past in the present. Galatians 3.13, we live the past in the present. So you're going to learn today that there's no need to try to pray to be blessed. It's living in the present, what happened in the past. Galatians 3.13 is lived in the present. It's revealed what God has done for us, not what God is going to do. A lot of times we say God is going to do. No, everything that God is going to do, he has accomplished it in the past. What God is going to do in the future, you can read about it in the past. What God has done, no need to beg anymore. <laughs> What God has done for us, we are to it in the present. So what are you saying, Dr. Betty? I'm saying today we are living in the present what God has already done. If I can believe that every blessing, every promise has already been accomplished for me, there's no need for me to try to build up enough faith to receive it. All I need to do is believe it and expect it, expect God's power to do what he has already done. We've been trying to create something. We don't need to create our blessing. We don't need to try to do enough work for God to go out and create a blessing for us. We are already blessed. According to the Bible. Okay, let's read Galatians 3.13. Verse 13. Christ have redeemed us. Has. Hey, right, that's been he did it in the present or what? In the past. Already done. Past redemption. Past. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Past redemption, brother, waiting for us to show up and live it out in the present. Oh, we are living out what has been done over 2,000 years ago. We are not living out what has been done yesterday. We're not living out what's been done, what's going to be done tomorrow. No, I'm living. That's the only thing I know is so old, never lose its power. <laughs> the promise is just the fresh today. It had worked over 2,000 years ago. The promise never loses its power to fulfill its meaning. You know, we sang about the blood. Never lose his power. Yes. So that's the promise. Never lose his power to fulfill its meaning. It is still fresh and exciting today when you read it and believe it. It's though it just happened yesterday. Yes. We are shining over God. We are shining over a plan, over promises that took place on the cross over 2,000 years ago. In the mind of the believer, that's how great and how powerful faith is. To, uh, faith is. Faith is so powerful. Power, to faith that caused me to believe something that happened 2,000 years ago, long before I showed up on earth, my faith can take me back there and make it so real today that I believe in an act of it. That's how powerful faith is. You are awesome people. Anytime you can have faith, believe that God, uh, that God saved you, 
And you basing your salvation not on what happened today. You basing your salvation by faith on what happened over 2,000 years ago. You saying that it's still fresh. It's still work. They have not lost the power. It's still to heal. It's still to deliver. Wait, sister, how long have it been? It's been a long time. Since it's been this, this, this uh, uh, disqualified by that? No. I'm saying. When do you get saved? 2,000 years ago. <laughs> when he said, it is finished. Salvation was made available then. While we was yet in the mind of Christ. Before we ever showed up on earth, salvation was already here. <laughs> 